All right. Hello, guys. Uh, please excuse the uh, weird camera angle. This is just what I have without a tripod. Uh, my old tripod that I used to use for all the good video angles and stuff um, broke. The base to it uh, was like a screw and it stripped out on me, so it was always loose. So, um, and I don't know. If, I don't want to constantly have my awkward face in the video either. So, this is what I've come up with. You guys are mounted on top of my uh, uh, my fixture, um, my T8 18 inch uh, fluorescent fixture that uh, had that um, uh, starter failure. Um, so we're going to be oiling this fan, uh, as you guys may have noticed the title. We have two fans to oil. Not sure if I'm going to get to the second one. But this is the first one. Uh, this one is seized up. I think I can plug it in right now and test and see if it even wants to run. Because I haven't plugged it in in like half a year. About as long as my inactivity on YouTube. Plug it in and see. There's no telling what it'll do right now. Okay. I'm going to let you guys see this too. Let me go ahead and remove the legs because I have to do it anyway to uh, access the inside. Okay, I've removed the little pegs on the leg. Um, let's see. Well, it doesn't really seem that it needs to be oiled, but I know it does. It's not, it's not outputting very much air, so I would say it needs to be oiled. See there? That's a fast spin down for that. It has a 360 switch. It goes all the way around, and you can either access low speed instantly or high speed instantly. So I can either go straight to low or straight to high, which is good for filming videos. You guys might... I don't know when the last time you guys saw this fan... I know it's been a long time ago. I, re I remember showing you guys this fan on my first video that I had um, commentary. So we're going to go ahead and work on this fan. Before I get started, let me make sure it's recording. Yes, we are live. Okay. Not live live, but I'm just saying. Reco we're, we're recording. None of you are missing a live video. I'm not doing live anymore because the app that I used to do live videos on no longer is allowing uh, unpopular channels go live on their uh, web no more. I mean, it asks me to verify my channel or see my channels verified. I don't know if that's the I'm not a robot thing or a popularity thing. If I have to be popular or if I have to be um, just a real person operating. So, we're going to go ahead and take this apart. I also forgot i got to remove that switch. So, let's remove it. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this without losing screws. Oh, I have an easier way to do this. It will not come apart unless those screws are out. I mean, unless that switch is out. I still have one screw in. Yes, two screws actually. So we get both of them out. This should end up being at least 20 minutes to 25 minutes. Um, I've taken this fan apart before. I think I've oiled it at least twice. Um. And it does say uh, taking this fan apart or re-oiling the bearings or anything might ruin the life of the, the bearings altogether, like oiling the bearings in terms of keeping the bearings lubricated. It'll ruin the... Basically what it was saying is that this uh, fan has um, lifetime lubrication. <laughs> Me? I don't think so. 
that doesn't exist really. If you have a dusty home, then yeah, you're going to have to oil it. So we've got a decent spin there. It's pretty smooth right now. But not really smooth enough. So we're going to grab an, a bowl or something to put these screws in so I don't lose them. Uh, I, don't, I don't have anything on hand right now. I don't have anything close by. Uh, so, I mean, we're not looking for professionalness, but still. Let's see, that's the thing there. I've got to undo the motor screws first, just to loosen the motor from the bottom. And I know uh, a few of you guys out there that have done this before to fans, like these small motor fans, uh, you guys have noticed that if you put them back together, the blades don't spin properly. That's because the bearings, when you're taking the raw, uh, the axle out of the bearings and putting them back in, the bearings kind of off shift a little bit. The bearing actually moves around, so when it doesn't line up, well, it doesn't really line back up properly when you put it back together. Sometimes it does if you're lucky, and a lot of times it doesn't. It's happened to me a lot, and I realized that if I give the fan a bit of a tap on the motor like that, or a tap on the front end, It'll spin well. Now, obviously, that didn't do anything because I haven't done anything to take it apart yet. So, let's go ahead and get the wire pulled out of the notches there. Okay, so this is what we're working with back here. That looks disgusting, but that is okay. <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah. We have a rather dirty motor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, uh, I can't take the blades out because uh, it's got that washer thing and if I take the blades out it'll ruin the washer. So I'm not even going to try. But all I'm going to do is put a lot of oil in the, put a, a big bunch of oil in the bearings and put it back together kind of a I'm not gonna pat it I'm not gonna uh, put like uh, cotton or something in the bearing to dry the excess up I'm not even gonna wipe up the excess pretty much I'm going to most certainly um, just keep uh, the excess in there let the little wick in there soak up the oil because I know it got it's got like a sponge inside of there that I need to let it soak up oil so I got the blades out and that front bearing mm, front bearing feels okay but I'm gonna put a bit of oil in there just to touch up just in case down a little bit work it Let's, we'll spin it around for a little while let that oil really move around when I was younger I used to love spinning fan blades like that we'll let it sit upside down like that let that oil soak into that uh, wig and we'll do the same for this one it also helps to work all the oil in by um, doing this. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I'm pretty sure you guys can now. But once it's once you got it flooded like that, see a little bubble? If you see bubbles like that, that means the oil is soaking in, so that's a good sign. But in order to help it, you can tack it down. That'll really work. That'll really work that oil in there. I can't do it to this one, but I can definitely do it to that one. And once it goes down a little bit, put a little bit more in there. There we go. That's all I need. And we'll just let it sit there for a little while. Doesn't matter if I get oil on my table. Yeah, 
we there was one time we had a roach infestation and, and uh you guys know about roach infestations one time when we did have one they liked to crawl in my electronics and mess things up now it's not in there okay so that's um taken care of i really want to see what it's doing right now uh let's see there's a bubble showing up okay so i'm not gonna do get out of the excess out of there with the uh, rag or anything all I'm gonna do is just let it drip let it drip out just a little bit there that way it's not drippy 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 but it is uh, dry enough um, now we're gonna go ahead and put the blades back wait no not the blades not the blades we're not gonna do the blades we're gonna do the but yeah, 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 yeah. We do have to do the blades, because that that lead uh, the bottom, uh, backs of the screws lead to the bolt going in for the uh, the back bearing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this in like so. There we go. Line them up. We'll put this back bearing on. And get the screws to fall through in the bearing. Now this is the part that usually takes a bit of time, but you gotta get the bolts on all with the bearing on there. I wish this was one of those closed in bearings on the back here, but it's not. I have one on this other this little blue fan next to me that's going right now. I don't run it uh unoccupied anymore just because of those uh blades that seize up or the just because of the issue of it seizing up unexpectedly without me knowing it and it, it possibly bursting in the flames. I've gotten lucky so many times about this thing. So, uh, please, I apologize if you guys can't see right now what I'm getting to there. I'm going to close up all the bolts. There we go. There's one side. And the blades are a bit stiff. Ooh, they are very stiff, actually. Why are they like that? Huh. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, we are backwards. Okay. Um, just realized that, uh... We put that together backwards by accident. That's okay. We can always take it back apart again. See there, it's backwards. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and take it back apart again. That sucks that I have to take it back apart again because now I have to deal with these bolts again. Oof, almost lost that one. that put it there take the back bearing it's down uh, let me touch it off a little little, little, little bit little more oil so what I'm doing here is putting oil in this grated part and there's a thing in there that acts as a sponge well it kind of is a sponge but Trip out. Okay. And now we're going to put the blades on the right side. Keyword, right side. Not right as in the direction, but right as in the correct. Okay. 
Now this is not a direct guide on how to take apart your fan because all fan, uh, most fans are different on how they come apart <clears throat> and put back together. Why is that not setting in? There we go. It sat in that time. Now it is pretty common to have very, very dirty and oily fingers after this. Depends on how dirty your fan is. This one is about mild in terms of dirtiness. Oof. These bolts right here. There we go. I try to finger tighten them. That way they are easier to get on there. There we go. And sometimes when I finger tighten them, they're able to tighten themselves without pliers. Uh, yep, that one did. And this one definitely did. Okay. There we go. Spinning. So we'll spin it up a little bit. We'll even get it that little hack. set in a little bit better there okay Let's set the motor in the motor has those little notches that it sets in on and then we'll set the wire in too it's got these little things here that the wire sets into <clears throat> I'm hoping this isn't backwards again. Let's see. Well, it's spinning in the right direction. Pretty sure it wouldn't have been spinning in the right direction if it was still backwards. Um, I'm not able to get these wires to sit in again. stub right there for the wire it's about to go <clears throat> there we go let's give it that little hack again should have set it in much better or well not really let's spin it up for a little bit <clears throat> not sure how the views were during um, the video how I had the camera set but it's spinning much better <clears throat> actually wobbling my uh, light above y'all so it's typically what you want to do is spin it up for a while after you oil them there we go move the phone by accident and yes after almost three years of YouTube I'm over here still using a phone to film. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. I apologize. 
It happens though. I moved the camera a little too forward and it fell. Sorry about the scare. Uh, we got the fan oiled. It's nice and oiled up. So, um, unfortunately I can't edit that part out. I normally would edit a, a fault or a botch out of the video, but I can't do that. So, um, I don't know, when I banged on it again, it set it in a little better because now it's spinning way better. Okay, but uh, I can't edit that out because I don't have an editing app planned right now. So, that's just going to have to be there as a jump scare, kind of. Happy Halloween. Uh, it's too early for that. I mean, too late. Way too late. I mean, technically, it's way too early because, like, it's, it's the earliest it can be because it's beginning of the year, obviously. Got the switch in. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot something. I know you guys were probably shot at me just now. Still recording. Thank goodness for that. I thought that fall would have made it stop recording. I might want to hurry with this fix before the camera cuts out completely. Go. This will get the motor set in. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys me oiling this fan before. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever shown you guys me oiling this. Okay, just, just make it tight. Now I can do this. Now these uh, screws to put the back on is uh, like the screw holes are kind of stripped out because it's plastic, I over tightened it. So I gotta just tighten them until they get snug. Just a pro tip when you have when you have plastic screw holes, just uh, snug it. Do not uh, tighten like freaking. Uh, bodybuilder type uh, that's not the way to go there we go I think all four of these screw holes are just stripped okay and that one nearly did it too um the peg legs there they are Alright guys, and that concludes this video. The fan is oiled again. Um, just, uh, I'm just prepping really, really early for the summer. I know it just got busting cold in Texas. Uh, uh, so, um, I mean, I know, uh, I think a handful of you guys live in Texas that uh, follow me. Um, yeah. But I'm just uh, early prepping for Texas. I got that one going got this one going and now I have to get this one going this one the bearings are dry so I'll have to work on that one too um, so yeah that's it that's all I have thank you guys for watching